Hey guys, so let's talk about something deep. Are you okay with that? You know, we're living in a time of so much change in this world and it just feels like this is a time where a lot of people are searching and looking for meaning to life and in the searching it also feels like there's a lot of suffering and it's almost needless it's not necessary because there's a part of us when we get to the point of you know honoring ourselves our higher selves like all aspects of ourselves beyond material possessions beyond beyond what our conscious thinking mind thinks that we need beyond what we keep telling ourselves that we need and we get to that place of being able to let go have you ever been to that place where you just released any kind of stress or struggle and you let go and you you started trusting a little more did you notice at that moment in your life things began to change and shift and you started to experience life in a whole different way you allowed for your higher truth to connect in with something bigger than you and when we allow for that, it just feels like it feels safe, doesn't it? It feels secure. And in this world where things are so challenging and there's so much stress in people's lives, it makes me a little sad because I start to think that we've, we're out of touch with what's really real and significant, and that is our higher self. You know, as a business owner, as an entrepreneur, it's easy to get caught up in the, the daily grind, you know, the, the rat race, the constant in motion feeling, the busyness, you know, like we're, we're almost addicted to being busy. I mean, if you think about it, like when someone calls you up and they ask how you're doing, you say, oh, I'm good, busy, but good, you know, and <laughs> it's almost like we wear it as a badge of honor that by being busy that we're, you know, that we're, we're fitting in to society and to the norms of society. And it's really a shame that that's become a norm, that we've lost touch with what's real and what's important. And when we look at something so significant as our higher truth or our higher self, it's got to give you comfort in knowing that there's something greater out there. I mean, look at this. Look at this. It's just magnificent. It's like, there's something greater than us and who we are. And in that greatness, we connect with it. And when you connect with it, you can feel that part of you that just gets lifted up. It's like you almost get to levitate to a whole new experience because there's something out there that is assisting you. So I'm going to encourage you this week to connect in with this beautiful energy, to connect in with what fills your cup. You know, get out in nature, go for a walk, go for a hike, um, go for a boat ride, go for a paddleboard ride, you know, whatever, it doesn't matter, but get out in nature and start living your life in a connected way, connected to that part of you that knows the difference between busy and peaceful. That part of you that 
that you don't have to keep stretching and reaching for something outside of you, that when you connect with that inner part that is all about joy and love and peace and harmony, all those beautiful words, that you start to feel like, yeah, life is good. And imagine what can happen when we all start to lift up those those feelings of love and joy and that vibration that stretches into far beyond into our little problems in this planet. We start to live life in a whole new way, in a way that we go, yeah, we're, we're built for more. And the more isn't material possessions, although those are great, you know, nothing wrong with those. But I'm referring to the more in terms of fulfillment and joy and happiness and allowing that for yourself. You know, take time every day to have a, you know, instead of a smoke break, maybe it's a joy break. <laughs> instead of a coffee break, maybe it's a joy break. But take that time to really connect into that place of joy and peace and and love. And as I'm saying this, I'm looking over and there's this beautiful feather. Come, come with me over here that I just spotted on the ground, a white feather. This is a sign that this message is for you. This is a sign, this beautiful, I mean, look how big this is, it's magnificent. This is a sign, and notice it's, it's dark and light. It's both duality, it's light and dark. And you know what, we, that's life, isn't it? Life is, life seems to be a whole, um, an experience in duality, but in the dark moments, know that the light is just right around the corner. And I want to share with you a quick story. Saturday night, I um, went to sleep, and uh, it was a full moon, so I had the curtains closed in our bedroom, because it's important to, you know, sleep in darkness in order to charge your pineal gland. And in the middle of the night, I was having a dream and it was kind of frustrating and it wasn't really going as I wanted, so I forced myself to wake up. And I woke up really quickly, like with a start. And then when I woke up, I could see the room was flooded with white light. And I thought, you know, I mean, I'm you know coming out of a dream, so I wasn't quite there all with it, but I knew enough that it was not normal like it wasn't it wasn't normal because I had closed the blind so there was no way light was coming into the room but when I was flooded with this white light the first thought was wow like something greater out is out there assisting me healing my body you know I've been asking for assistance with with my eyesight to get sharper again and and, um, you know, with certain aches and pains in my body, I just wanted it healed. And I felt like that was happening by this white light. So, you know, we have assistance. They're out there. They come visit us, whether you're aware of it or not. And the white light is, that's the main one that you want, you know, the white light is is angelic it's all that is it's the highest vibration energy that's out there it's it's really positive nothing negative comes from the white light so i wasn't surprised when it happened because i i've asked for assistance from the universe and that's the thing we have to ask for guidance and assistance because of free will on the earth we can't assume that they're going to step in and do things on our behalf. It's not how it works. We have to ask. So I've been asking for assistance with my eyesight. I've been asking for assistance with, with uh, my shoulders. I've had uh, pain and soreness in my shoulders. So it wasn't a huge surprise when I woke up and saw the white light flooding into the room. I was so grateful for it. At first, I, I was a little afraid. And then I call on Archangel Michael to come in, and he's the you know the guardian, the protector of the universe. Comes in and um, uh, makes sure everything's okay. And after I called him in, I knew this is all right. This is okay. Everything's going to be fine.
So I'm going to encourage you this week to trust a little more, to connect in with your higher self, even if you're an entrepreneur, a business owner, you know, it doesn't matter. It's when we're connected with our higher self, that part of us that that knows the truth. It's like that inner part of you that is out for the for the good of everyone. Then amazing things start to happen. They can start happening in your business, in your personal life, in whatever areas you need assistance with. But ask. You got to ask. So thanks for letting me share. It's um. This is, this is a great sign that we're on the right track here. Hope you have a fantastic day. We'll talk soon.